Hey guys, Balkan Arctic here and welcome to today's tutorial and in today's tutorial we're going to be taking the project from the last tutorial that they've done and there I showed you how to create uh, this cool kind of road and uh, curbs in Revit and how to use the topo surface and railing tool to create roads in Revit. Now if you haven't seen that tutorial uh, I'm going to be leaving a link to that in the description so check it out. Now in today's tutorial I'm going to be taking it one step further. So we're going to be adding some road markers like those lines, the parking spots that's really important and uh, the little arrows that are on the pavement that's really cool so I'm going to add, be adding all of these elements and also some vehicles. I'm uh, going to add, be adding vehicles. One of those is going to be a Volkswagen Beetle which is kind of fun, a fun vehicle to add in Revit. And what's really great about this you don't have to download any families at all. Uh, you can just use the uh, regular families that come with the uh, Revit library that you get once you download Revit. So that's really cool. Now if you want to get this starting project, uh, the one that I'm going to be starting from, uh, check out my Patreon first link in the description. There you can find all of my Revit project files that I create in these tutorials and also that there you can find some of my advanced Balkan Architect courses. I make one of those each week and they are all over one hour long. I've got over 37 hours of content over there. Okay, with that out of the way, one more thing, I would just like to ask you to like this video, it helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm, and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe, I make useful Revit tutorials each week. Okay, so with all of that out of the way, let's get into the tutorial. This is that project that I'm going to be using. So this is uh, what I have created in my previous tutorial on this channel. So if you want to check that out, uh, I'm going to be leaving a link to that in the description of the video. And also, uh, if you want to download the completed project file, uh, check out my Patreon first link in the description. Okay, so to do road markings, I'm just going to go here into the site plan. And once in the site plan, now we can start loading in the uh, road markings. Now let's start off with the simplest one that we have, and that's here in architecture. Now this is the basic architecture template that comes with any version of Revit. And when you go here to place a component, and when you open up the properties, uh, now I have I haven't loaded any families in, but here we have uh, some parking spaces just as default. Now I'm going to be using the M parking space here, the 90 degree one, uh, and that's the uh, 400, 4800 by 2400 millimeter parking spot. Now, if you just hover over here over the field or over your uh, parking area, you can just go ahead here and then just kind of place it in its right place. Uh, now, once I place it uh, just once, uh, then I go here to copy. I try to find here the edge of that uh, parking space. Let's see, I think it's this. Yeah. So once you can select that here, go to multiple and then just copy it multiple times, just as many times as you can, as far as you have enough room here on your, uh, just on your project. So here we have enough room for these. Uh, now, uh, when I go here into 3D, you're going to notice that it immediately snapped here to this uh, to, to this here surface, so it is going to snap to a topo surface. So this road uh, has been modeled as a topo surface, so as you can see uh, your parking spots are just going to naturally uh, snap to that. So if you select one of these here uh, under host, it's going to say surface, so that basically means it's using this uh, road topo surface to host that element and it's immediately recognizing that even though you're in the site plan. Now let's see what other elements we can add here. So uh, here if we go under component, uh, we don't really have any more elements that are loaded in over here. So the next step would be to go here to load family and then search for some elements. So uh, to find elements, you can go here under site. Uh, here we have uh, many options. So we can go here to parking and then uh, here, as you can see, we have some options so we can use here uh, maybe the straight and turn arrow, maybe the straight arrow. Uh, here we have, uh, I think we have the pavement stripe, that's really cool, and a parking symbol for a disabled person, so that's cool. And let's open that up. So now it's loading all of these families in, so for example this straight arrow, you can place it over here uh, like this, and maybe over here 
like that for the other direction. And then you can do maybe the same thing up here. So you would go like this and then using the space key to orbit around. There we go. Okay, so we have multiple families here. Uh, let's see uh, what else do we have. We have the direction arrow. Then we have the straight and turn. Uh, this one we can use over here, for example. So maybe something like this here. Maybe the same thing here, but I'm going to select it. And then uh, here, let's see. Yeah, let's mirror it. So I'm just going to go here with mirror pick access and then uncheck copy and then just mirror it like this on the other side. So here, as you can see, it's saying like you can turn here uh, to the other side or here to the parking lot. Let's see what else have we loaded in over here. I think we have the parking space, then we have yeah the parking symbol. So here the symbol for disabled people. Maybe we can add one here for this parking spot. And uh, let's see, I think we ha have loaded the line. Yeah, here we have the pavement stripe. Now what's really cool about this is you can see you can uh, adjust the length. Now I'm going to go with this, this length and maybe add one here in the middle of the road. And then uh, here the length is uh, 550. So I'm just going to copy it by the value of that's uh, 1100 and let's just copy it along the way so there we go one more now if it's missing like this let's see let's see where did they disappear so as you can see these are here underneath so maybe we can select those and try to change the host so okay, here go with pick new host and there's there they are on the right host but they're kind of underneath the, now to fix that problem what you can do is you can select these and then uh, maybe add an offset from host like 10 centimeters and then just check if they are kind of above ground then let's see this one let's go to zero okay they're at the, the right position now even if you set them to zero they seem to be working so you can just play around like that so as you can see now we have these arrows we have these uh, yellow lines we can do the same yellow lines over here on top so go back to site and then here in the site plan go to component flip this around using the space key place it here and then I like to copy it by the double length which is 1100 there we go. So again, as you can see, it's going a little bit uh, below ground, but that's okay. We're going to be fixing that uh, soon. Okay, this one's uh, a bit here outside, so let's delete that one. Okay, let's go back here into 3D. Yeah, so I guess the best option when copying these would be just to select them and give them the zero offset. And then they, I guess, they go up to the top. Now here, this one is going kind of a little bit inside of the ground. So maybe give it just a slight offset. Let's try two centimeters. There we go. That's That was enough. Okay, so that's how you add all of these uh, road markings. Then you can add maybe a few more arrows or disable spots or whatever you want to add. Uh, just go here to component, load family, and here you have many options for parking. You, we even have these islands that you can use, things like that. Now, if I just go back here, uh, here we have some accessories, which is like a bike stand. Tra trash can things like this so you can use some of these if you want just to include with your site we have here logistics here we have we have a pickup truck yeah we can place a pickup truck here let's place one here there we go I guess that's cool to have a little pickup truck here uh, and if you select it here you're going to notice that the surf uh, that the host is also the surface so it's always going to be above ground here and uh, we can go back here into component load family what else do we have so here we can do the concrete truck here maybe like that concrete mixer and this one as well will be located on the host so you can just play around like that I think we have one more car family somewhere here so let's go back and I think that would be under entourage yeah here we should have the beetle yeah the famous rabbit beetle so as you can see if I just load this in okay it's a bit of a heavier model but here it is 
and the same thing uh, goes here uh, the host is the surface now we can go here to site plan and just maybe orbit that beetle around and there we go so we have our nice little parking area and here we have the uh, a few cars and now as you can see the bill is a bit more detailed uh, compared to these the truck the work truck and the uh, the mixer the concrete mixer so there we go there's our topo surface and we have some road markings we have uh, our parking spots now these parking spots can of course be then scheduled uh, for uh, pulling information out of the model and we've added a few vehicles just to make everything look a bit more realistic okay so there we go that's it for uh, this tutorial now if you want to download this project file check out my patreon first link in the description there you can also find some of my advanced balkan architect courses they are all over one hour long and currently I'm working on an office building course that's a multiple hour course. I think we have like nine hours now uh, out so far and I'm basically showing you everything what it takes to take a project from just an idea to complete project documentation all within Revit. So if you're interested in something like that, uh, please check it out. First link in the description. OK, so that's pretty much with it with this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for any future tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.